Father's Day to all you dads out there. And all you girls, I hope you are spoiling your men and your daddies very, very well today. Me and Jay are off to Pryor. And um, yeah, that's quite a car we got, huh? Jay's kind of over here gloating. Yep, it's a Challenger with a Hemi. <laughs> I'm like, you better be careful or the cops are going to pull us over. You think? I could. I you could. could what? I could get pulled over with oh. this probably. If they can catch me. Oh! Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Okay, we just left. We're actually still in our town, coming out of our town, right? Yeah. So we have a long day ahead of us of driving, but the weather is nice. It's sunny and very windy, but nice. Jason just went super fast in this thing. We shouldn't have got this. What did you hit? 106. 107. 107. He's gonna get a ticket. And it's like super fast, like it's there like instantly. Yeah, I, I, I wanna get one of these. Why did you go so fast? Oh, because there was this camper swinging around constantly and he was going like 72 and I wanted to get around him really quick and it went a lot faster than I expected. Yeah, this is his Father's Day present, right? Yes, <laughs> like for a whole week. For a whole week. <laughs> And if there's any viewers who happen to have husbands who are cops, please don't mention this to them. Thank you. <laughs> we made it. We actually just got here and the room is basically the same as what it was before. So we got a bunch of stuff to take care of. <sighs> that was a good trip. There was no rain or anything. It was good. A lot of semis, a lot of campers and stuff because probably summer vacation. But yeah, I'm glad we made it. Yay! For tonight for dinner, we went to Mazio's. We're so tired, we just or we went and picked it up and brought it back to the room. But what is this, a Supreme? Yep. Yum. And then what kind of breadsticks? They're just called dipper sticks. Dipper sticks. And then what are these, chicken wings? Uh, but, yeah, garlic parm wings. Garlic parm wings. Mm. We're gonna get our pajamas on and relax. It is Monday, June 19th, and I have to show you something that I got the other day in my P.O. box. Um, the pot holders are from my friend Shelly. Thank you so much, Shelly. I absolutely love them. Oh my goodness. Now I have two different sets of pot holders, and I love it. The other gift was from Jody. I will have her channel linked below. I have seen people on YouTube doing um, pocket letters and I've always been curious about them and I watch them and I'm like, that is so awesome. What a wonderful craft, you know, to do and something so sweet to put together for somebody. And then I received one in the mail from Jody. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jody. I really, really appreciate it. I have a lunch date. Jason just texted me and said he's gonna come over and he's going to pick me up out front and he is on his way. So I gotta get my shoes. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I haven't been on a lunch date in a while. <laughs> okay, I don't want to forget my room key. That'd kind of be embarrassing. Okay, grab my purse. I think it's 80s, so we'll just say yeah. Okay, let's go meet him out front. Wow. Look at the sign up. I have to tell you, I actually could hear Jason leaving the hotel this morning. Oh, him in that car. Hi, 
first date. <laughs> How's it going? Good. 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 Okay, we are headed to... Denny's. Yes, right down the road. Chicken um, Philly cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. A mount, I believe it was. Yep. And then what are these? Homemade bacon cheddar tater tots. Bacon cheddar tater tots. And you got the... I got the Philly steak. Philly steak. Lunch was good. I'm always impressed with the Denny's here. If you ever drive through the prior Oklahoma area or are here for whatever reason, stop into that Denny's. It's really good. I thought that I would show you a couple of things that I did for packing this time. We went to Walmart and we went into the section where they have all the packing stuff, you know, that section of just the minis, all the mini stuff. Well, we found this plastic bag with four plastic bottles in it and then it had a thing of stickers and then the plastic bag has a zipper on the top of it. And the stickers, you can stick them on the bottles and it's like conditioner, shampoo, body wash, there was all kinds of them. Or there was a few that you could actually just fill it in into whatever that you use it for. There was lotion, um, yeah, so, and they're perfect. So I went ahead and I filled them up with my soap and shampoo and the lotion for the shower, the Jergens, and it's, it's great. And then that way I don't have to have all those great big huge bottles in my bag. You know so it just it was really nice and then um, for all my little stuff I took one of my bags that I get from Ipsy and I put all my little things in it like tweezers um, my little container for my contacts um, just things like that just the smaller things that seem to sink down into a bag and then I have to dig them out so that's what I did is I stuck them in the little one of the little ipsy bags that I had gotten from ipsy and then my makeup bag I actually bought at Target a few years ago and it's a Soho bag and I love it the top of it you unzip the top of it and it has individual little slots for your brushes to go into it's got like a little mesh zipper thing for I put lip glosses and lipsticks in it this time and then underneath it's got a whole section for all your makeup like your it's just open on the bottom so like I can you know I throw in blush and eyeshadows and everything else in the bottom of it and everything is in that one bag so yeah I just thought I'd share that with you in case you're traveling and maybe get some ideas or go, go to um, Walmart in their travel section and look around and see if they got some things for you to use we also grabbed um, a travel size like of q-tips and stuff like that too they had there i know they have like toothbrushes they have oh just just everything <laughs> soaps and all kinds of stuff okay i was just told about this by uh, music is a rainbow i'll have her channel link below but it's called angry mama microwave cleaner and you can get it at target it says it's 9.99 at target um it's a steamer and it steams your microwaves um it says the steam loosens up all the crud and mess so you can wipe it away like magic oh my goodness this is hilarious they actually have more than this look at these things ebay amazon isn't that something if you have one, let me know what you think of it. I'm curious. Okay, I went down to ask to see if I could get a different desk chair because ours in our room is busted. You can't move it up or down and you sit like this on a slant. It's horrible. They said no. They said no that they don't have another desk chair. You would think that they could like swap it with another room or something but it's horrible. Like you can't raise it, you can't lower it, it tips on its side, it's, it's bad, it's busted. So I told them, I'm like, well, you might wanna make a note of that and maybe get one ordered because that one is busted. And she's like, well, what room are you in? And I told her, and maintenance was even down there. And he said, no, that he can't do that. <laughs> so, I don't know. 
I guess I have to stick with this one. Oh my goodness. Oh, and before I forget, um, the last time I was here, housekeeping walked in just about on me. And a few of you had told me to put like the do not disturb sign out and stuff like that. So I did that this morning and had no problems. So thank you for telling me about that. And I did that and it worked. Because isn't this what every girl does in a hotel? Hello, me and Jason went to Denny's today for lunch again. Cause it's just literally like right there. And um, they're really fast too at, you know, um, having the food ready and so it's just easier. Plus they have a lot to choose from. <laughs> I got the half portion of nachos and then we got those um, deep fried pancake things, but these ones were strawberry this time. And then you dip them in frosting. And then Jason got a chicken salad. Um, tonight we are going to go out to dinner with some of his coworkers. It is sunny and like 90 degrees out today. It's very pretty outside. And right now I am going to go to the pool. I'm gonna go play in the water. Sounds good. Good morning. It is June 21st and it's Wednesday and um, it's supposed to be 90 degrees out today. The sun's already out, nice and bright. It looks windy. So we are, we have the car today. So we are gonna go hang out. I know they have a Walmart, so let's go see what they got at the Walmart. selection I think their selection was better here than what it is where we live I was pretty impressed but I didn't get anything I ended up getting um, some of those little turkey wraps for lunch that's what I'm gonna do for lunch today because Jason they are actually having lunch delivered to them today at work so okay I'm thinking it might go into one more store but I don't want to leave the food in here for too long because it's getting really hot out here so I'm kind of debating Okay, I went into Caddo's. Um, it's a clothing store, and they're pretty picked over. I know you can shop online because I see some really cute stuff there, but the sales lady was not very friendly. She actually, I don't even think she said anything to me at all. She just stood there. It was weird behind the cash register. So I was like, eh, I can just look online and probably find the stuff that I was interested in in there okay I'm heading back to the hotel and I am going to eat some lunch okay they have a very nice park here they have an outdoor city swimming pool they have a water park which is right behind me and then a nice just park so I brought a book and a magazine and I'm gonna go relax and enjoy this beautiful weather what's with those street signs did you see that they're all tipped like that was so weird they're fixing them, but that is so weird. I don't remember them being like that yesterday. And we didn't have like storms or anything come through. It's so weird. It is almost two o'clock and housekeeping never showed up. 
it's so weird. Yeah, I was talking to Jay, and I think we're gonna give him a bad review online because both times we've stayed at this hotel, it has not been a good experience both times. So, yeah, well, I'm done running around, so. Good morning, it is Thursday, June 22nd, and it is supposed to be 86 degrees out today. And I figured I would just sleep in today, and so I did, and I'm staying in my pajamas, and I'm just, you know, answering stuff on YouTube and doing all that, and I'm, I gotta show you these. These are amazing. We found them at a store called Brahms, it's an ice cream type place, and they're a honey toasted pecan. So I'm drinking coffee and I'm eating pecans and I texted Jay because I didn't see the car key. And I was like, hey, I said you um, eating, where are you eating lunch today? And he goes, oh, I'm eating with you. I'll be there at 11.45. I was like, uh, then I better hurry up and get ready. I'm sitting here in my pajamas and I need to wash my hair. And he said, LOL. <laughs> so I quick scrambled around, jumped in the shower. Yeah, um, housekeeping never came last night either. <laughs> um, yesterday at all. So I don't know. That's so weird. But anyway, so I'm getting ready to go have lunch with my husband. Okay, I put you in a little cubby right here on the wall so I can talk to you. I'm rigging you up <laughs> so we can hang out. <laughs> um, last night, me and Jason went to dinner with one of the um, corporate people from um, out of state and because... Um, they have corporate people here too but yeah so that was really nice it was really nice he was actually it was end up being a pretty good sized group of people of course I'm the only wife on the trip but it was still good there was there was six of us all together and um, we all went to a restaurant it was good good conversation and stuff like that which is nice I love that I love when you can just you know, relax and just have good conversation with co -work, with his co-workers and you just get to know, you get to know them. But I've never met the one um, gentleman from corporate. So that was nice and he was very, very, very nice. So that's what me and Jay did last night. And that was nice. So we didn't get in until later because, I mean, they don't get out of work until six o'clock. And then that, you know, they all run home or, you know, everybody comes back to the hotel, jumps in the shower, changes, and then we all head out. So you're figuring, you know, you don't even start eating until probably about 7.30 or so, you know. Um, and so that puts us back at the hotel <laughs> late. So this week, for the last couple of nights, we um, have actually done that for dinner. So then we leave, eat, come home. Jay literally just, he crawls in bed and he's out. Almost instantly, he's, he's just out. And then he gets up and he does it all over again. So he is going to need a weekend of just R&R &R when we get back home. I just thought of something I wanted to tell you. If you're at city pools or hotel pools, stuff like that with like a lot of bleach in the water and you know how it just dries your hair out, I have used this the last couple of times after I get out of the pool and um, I put it on my ends when it's still wet, just a teeny tiny little bit and it's like silky. And um, I have not had a problem with snarling or anything from this and you can get this at Walmart. So yeah, I highly recommend that one. If you are in chlorine and your hair snarls and gets dry from it, that really works perfectly. Hi, Hello. 
<laughs> they haven't seen you for a little bit. No, it's been a long week. It has been a long week. Oh my goodness, that helicopter, seriously, I was watching it across the street and it landed right there at the hotel. And I was like, no way, no way. So I quick grabbed the camera. <laughs> Did you miss your car? Yeah. Aww, because I had it yesterday. Oh my goodness, every time you do that, I hit my head on the back of the seat. I'm sorry. Are you? Yeah, Are you really? I really am. Can you say without smiling? No. <laughs> How rude. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool that helicopter landing right there. That was awesome. That was awesome. Okay, that was a Amish restaurant and store and we want to go back there because the store was really neat and we didn't have enough time to really look around but we found some things that I'm interested in so yes we will definitely be going back there um, but me and JH had a turkey sandwich and you can build your own sandwich they had all kinds of stuff there and then we had um, potato salad too and each of us got a pop so that was nice it was a good simple lunch but it was on homemade white bread and it was really good but i gotta show you this little treat that we got yeah that's my after lunch snack i'm gonna have one Okay, this is a restaurant that we're gonna try. I think this one's going to be pretty expensive. It's called Molly's and it's by Tulsa, right? Yeah. It's by Tulsa, Oklahoma. But yeah, we just seen a stretch limo leave the parking lot. So we will see, oh my. <laughs> in there and me and Jason our food it took an hour and 15 minutes yeah. before we got our food so that was crazy but everything was so good did you like it oh it was really good yeah I enjoyed it and um the prices weren't bad either were they mm, so, so. they were medium right yeah. we'll say mid um so yeah if you are ever in the area of what Tulsa Oklahoma Katusa yep. uh, is the name of the town yeah huh then definitely come check out molly's it was it was good and very friendly staff and they were just they took care of you mm -hmm. so okay i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna close out this weekly vlog i think i have going on here <laughs> and um tomorrow i don't know if we're really gonna do anything and then saturday we are heading home and i am so excited about that so thanks so much for joining me and if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button i would love to have you stick around i'll talk to you later bye